What's up? What's up, man? Look who we here with. We here with Mr. Chucky Williams. Yeah. What's man, up, bro? Let the people who know who you are, man. I'm Chucky Williams. I'm a videographer from Baltimore. I skateboard. I act. I do porn. You know, I'm out here. He does porn. Okay, we're gonna ask you about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Good way to start it off, though. Uh, I got a couple questions for you. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing too, nothing too heavy. Oh. Just gonna get all in your personal business. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, where you from, man? I'm from Baltimore. Okay. For the yeah, people North that don't, I'm about to say the people that don't know what Baltimore is. Baltimore, what? Yeah, Murderland. You feel me? <laughs> Northeast. Yeah, Towson, Maryland. Out here. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> So where's your where's your family from? Shit, where are you from? Woodlawn. I'm gonna just say Woodlawn. No, like your descent. Like where's your family oh, from? Oh, shit, Baltimore. I don't know. Uh, United States. I don't know. Oh, they're from the United States. Yeah, so, yeah. So you're, I'm not mixed with nothing, you know. So your great 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 grandmother is from the United States. Yes. Yeah. She's okay. From the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's true. I'm gonna do some research and we're gonna see. Right. I'm gonna ask your peoples when I, next time I see him. All right. All right. How many siblings you have? All right. I got one blood brother. He's 21. Okay. Then the rest is like step. You know. I definitely didn't ask that gang affiliation, but okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said oh, I yeah, got right. one blood brother. I'm joking. Go ahead. And then um, what else? I got two step sisters. No, no, no. Pause. 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 I got one. I got four stepsisters, two stepbrothers, and one real brother, you know. So I got a lot of siblings. Okay, that's about six? Yeah, I'm going to say six, seven. Six or seven? Yeah. Okay. And you the oldest, youngest? I'm like in the middle. I'm the middle. I'm oh, you're the middle child? Yeah, I'm the middle child. That's even better, right? Yep. Yeah. Mom, dad? They're not together. They're not together? Yeah, that's why I got so many siblings, you know, because they, they both married, you know. Okay. Yeah, so. Since all your people are from the United States, which side did your mom grow up at and which side did your dad grow up at? Uh, I'm going to just say Woodlawn. They, yeah. Oh, both, they both grew up in Woodlawn? Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to just say that, yeah. Okay. Right. I really don't. It's a pretty pretty cool area. Well, I mean, probably around that time, it probably is a, a, a better area than it is now. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. So, what was your childhood like? All I did was skateboard, you know. That's all I did was skateboarding. If it wasn't for skateboarding, I wouldn't be filming, you know. That's all I remember, you know. My childhood was nice, you know. It's a regular childhood. Like, skateboarding I, I, wasn't, I wasn't out here trapping. I wasn't out here being bad. All I did was skateboard. I did art on the side, did photography, low kick. Yeah, me and my homies, that's all we really did. Yeah, what age you know? did you pick up a board? Your first board? I was like seven or eight. Yeah, mm. I, was, I was around seven to eight. Yeah. Did you try bikes before then? Yeah, I did all that, yeah, yeah. But I really gravitated towards skateboarding. Like, that's that's my comfort zone right there. Riding bikes, that's cool, but like, you know, I ain't, I ain't do it like that. All I did was skateboard. Do you know why? Do I know why I skateboarded? No, why you gravitated towards the skateboarding more than um, anything else? Because you said it's your comfort zone, so that means you must feel strong. Yeah, I mean, like, that's all we did growing up. You know, the people I grew up with, that's all we did. That that was all around, you know. We, I mean, we played football and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know. But it was just like, skateboarding was different. I like different shit, you know. Like, I saw people riding bikes. I saw people playing basketball, football and shit. But when, it came, when I saw that skateboard, I was like, yo, that's something different. Let me try that, you know. So you like to consider yourself a person that thinks outside the box? Yes, yeah. Okay. I don't like doing the same things other people do, you know. I've always been different, you know. A lot of people skateboard now, but shit, I still always found a way to stand out, you know. Yeah, you're not a, you're not a copycat. I'm, yeah, I'm not no copycat. Like, I've been doing this shit since 2007, you know, so I've been doing this shit. <laughs> you said that like that's a long time ago. It is. That's like 13 years ago, 12 years ago. That's a bop ago. That, that was that was pretty long ago. Yeah, that was a bop ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bop ago. Yeah, damn. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so how how did that affect your schooling? Um I did got it make you friends? I got friends. Oh, I was about to, yeah, I was I just about to say that. I would always think about skateboarding. When I'm at school, that's all I thought about. I started making skateboard videos as well, so when I'll be in class, I just be daydreaming and shit like, "Oh shit. Maybe I can do this to learn this." Or maybe I can film this certain way to get my videos to look like that other guy who skateboard, you know? So that's 
I, I got distracted, you know, like, <laughs> I got distracted. That's all I thought about was skateboarding. Skateboard. Yeah, that's all I thought about. So when when did you pick up your first camera? Um, let me see. It don't matter if it was for recording I was, or... I was 11 years old. Yeah, I was 11. Yeah, it was actually my stepfather's. I used to actually sneak in their room and shit, get the camera, go out and skateboard. <laughs> Still, film, film it. Yeah, stealing. He already <laughs> know. They already knew that I was like doing that, but he was like, "Yo, he might get famous off of it." So, right. They were just like, "Be honest." Yeah. They knew you was better than them. Yeah, I'm, well, <laughs> not not better than them, but like they knew for a fact, like that little boy on to something. You know, let's just not say nothing. Let him do what he do. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like he breaking the camera. I did break the camera though. Eventually, I broke the fucking camera. <laughs> it lets you find your way though. Yeah, yeah. It basically, let you yeah, find yeah. your way. Cause it. it it got me out of trouble, you know. If I wasn't skateboarding, I probably would have been one of these niggas out here trapping, you know. Mm. I mean, I probably would have been doing drugs, you know. I don't know what the fuck I've been doing if I ain't Man, that's a horrible way to think. But sadly, we got to think like that. Nah, because like, a lot of people, I'm pretty sure you know a lot of people that took both of those paths. Yeah, majority of the people I grew up with, they don't skateboard no more. So now they just out here doing their thing. I'm not going to say what they're doing, but they out here doing what they got to do, you know. So... That's I hope a, they good. I still keep in touch with them, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they still, you still your friends. Yeah, yeah, they still reach out. I still reach out to them, making sure they good and shit. You know. That's good. Yeah. That's always good. Mm -hmm. Not forgetting where you came from. No. Nope. Now nope. that's a dope hat and shirt. What's that? Oh, this view skate shop. You know. Um, let me see. I kind of grew up with this view skate shop. You know, like when I when I skateboard, I still do skateboard, but that was always the go to skate shop. I always go to. You know, I don't go to the mall to get my shit. Right. I don't go to outlets to get my shit. I always go to View Skate Shop, you know, because they I, I respect what they doing, you know. What would be considered? Yeah. My fault for cutting you off. What would be considered a, a skate shop that's that's in like the malls? They like Zunis and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no offense. I used to shop at Zunis too. I sometimes I, I sometimes shop at Zunis, you know. But at the same, I drive and shit, so I'm not going to Zunis. At the time, I didn't drive, so Zunis was like. Um, That's a flex. He said he ain't skateboarding to the mall no more. He... <laughs> yeah, like, it was right there. So that was, I was like, Ernie, let me just go to the mall, get a new skateboard, you know? Growing up, I couldn't even afford skateboards. I actually um, used to borrow skateboards from my homeboy, you know? Mm. Yeah, but at the time, I didn't have no car or nothing like that. So I would just go up to the mall, go to Zoomies, you know? Chill there, get some, get a skateboard, you know? That's all I did. So what about the, uh, what about the hoodie? The hoodie, oh. Man, I got this made from the mall. People be saying, hey, when you um making hoodies, when you making hoodies, that's money, you know. Mm -hmm. What is it, though? Oh, uh, my brand, Film My Art, you know. You already know, Film Don't forget, My Art. Yeah, you got to plug yeah. yourself. Don't forget to plug yourself. Yeah, for real. Like, they coming soon. Like, I had to plug at first as far as getting the shirts made. I got the shirts made already. My family bought all my fucking shirts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah. I couldn't even sell it to the public. Dang. I had shirts made already, but... um. The hoodie's coming soon, though, like, you know, I just did this for personal use. It's definitely a different uh, logo, you know, because I don't want nobody, I don't want anybody walking around with my logo on, you know. I'm, exactly. I'm head honcho, you know. I'm not <laughs> head honcho. I am head honcho, but I don't want niggas, I, I'm just weird like that, you know. I'm no, plus you don't want people, uh, you want people to buy stuff, but you don't want them to misrepresent your brand. Yeah, and people really don't know what I look like. Every time I go out. I'm always behind the scenes, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody thought I was a fucking catfish at one point. My guys were cussing. Somebody <laughs> yeah, really thought I was yeah. a catfish. I was a video shoot. And um, I'm over here introducing myself. Mind you, they already know who I am, but I still want to let my presence be known because people don't, a lot of people don't know who I am, you know? So I, I walk over, I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm Chucky. She's like, oh, you Chucky? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I follow your Instagram. Oh my goodness, I didn't know you Chucky. I'm like, it's pictures on my Instagram. I'm like, you ain't, she, she, she thought I was a, a tall, fat, black guy. I was what? She thought I was like one of the, a, a tall, fat, heavy dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? I don't know. My pictures are on my Instagram, so I kind of got offended. I'm like, you thought I was? You thought I was a catfish? Like, come on now. She like yes. <laughs> I guess so, but at the same time, like, I use that to my advantage. I don't like being the center of attention. I, that's why I'm doing videos right now. You know, I can rap. You know, people don't know mm -hmm. that I can. I can make music and shit. I mix. Always compare you to music. Pharrell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah right, no. And um, yeah, I do music and stuff. But at the same time, yeah, I don't like being the sense of attention. I always like to stay low key. That's why I'm behind the camera now, behind the scenes. I always filmed my own shit too. You know, mm -hmm. I always put myself on the little tri tripod, right in front of the camera. I did all that, but I seen the cons in it. I saw niggas getting murdered behind this shit because mm -hmm. of hatred. 
I'm not going out like that. <laughs> Fuck that. Right. I'm gonna make it. If I'm gonna get my father, I'm not even gonna tell niggas what I'm gonna do. Fuck that. But just know I got a plan. I'm gonna stick to that plan. You know. I'm not telling niggas my secret, but fuck but that. With with your uh, maybe not your genre, because I'm pretty sure you you talking hip hop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but with your your style, your your fan base, do you think that they would be the type of people that would murder you? If you understand what I'm saying? Nah. Um, more more like if you're making, let's say you're making trap music, right? right. Which you you don't intend on making, right? It was well, a mixture, mixture between both. both. Okay. Yeah, mixture between both. So let, let me let me give you an uh, example. People not out here trying to kill Travis Scott. You right. Yeah. But he makes good music and some of it is trap. But some of the uh, rappers that's more aggressive, that's gang banging, that's in the street, they have um, entourages of people that's in gangs and stuff. Those are usually the people who get murdered. You right. Yeah. You definitely right. But at the same time, they all left their hometown though. They all left their hometown. There's That's a lot true. of hatred in my city. So what if I did blow up, you know what I'm saying? But the videos at the same time, you know? A lot of niggas, I'm not even going to put nobody out there, but it's just like, I don't shoot anybody, you know? I don't shoot everybody, you know? Right. You go on my page, you only see a few select people I film all the time. Mind you, they pay me what I need, you know? I'm a very picky person. I don't trust a lot of people, you know? People be like, Yo, I try to uh, hit you up. I try to hit you up. I I hit people up all the time. At one point, I was hitting people up like this. But as soon as I give them my flat rate, they will always bluff out. So what I'm saying is, if I was to rap at the same time, go out to a club, it's a lot of hatred in my city. Somebody can take me out, and I don't even know them, but they hit my DM wanting a video, but they see me rapping and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, damn, this nigga rapped too? Nah, fuck that, yo. He he shining to you, uh, yo. He wasn't even trying to look out for me yo, on the video. Too. You know, I don't, it's just small shit. Jealousy. I yeah, jealousy. You know, that long story short. Yeah, jealousy. Jealousy, yep. Yeah, long story short. That's, that's what, yeah, jealousy. All right, man. We're going we gonna to take him in a part two, man. Hell yeah, yep. Yeah, I need some water. That's right. Need some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> we'll be right back.